But also, Miss Beyonce, if you're watching this, please, we still need more of you, okay? <laughs> Finally. And he came. And he came. He here. He's here. Mm -hmm. What? Double recording. It's crazy, Cheers. you guys. It's crazy. <laughs> it's currently 5.25. I am getting ready to go and see. Matter of fact, we're all going to see the Renaissance movie. He actually influenced me. I am tired. When I tell you that I like pressured because I have a lot of things to do. I'm laying my hair. I had to give him a pair of bath before I go. It's crazy. But it's all good because, you know, it's a good day. It's Friday, so it's going to be chilled. I will see you guys in a little bit. My head's currently laid. Um, I will do my... I don't know if I can do my makeup, but I have to call Jackie to make sure that she's fine. And then, you know, we can get a cake in. But it's Friday. I'm excited. I am out of place. She told me she got but comfortable and I was like this is cute and, I was like, ready. and then she was like this no but like cute except in the yeah, okay. it's very deceptive Jack, Jax is giving deceptive her body looks deceptive hey you guys <laughs> it's, see that's why I wear trench coat that's why I wear coats because I'm cold no Travis I'm cold I'm not even kidding like I don't do this <laughs> He said, why am I out here in the car? Because I have to pay. Oh, me you too. You did both vlogs, you did too? Yeah. Don't keep talking to my bubble. She's cold. And, and she's vlogging me. Ah, I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, I wanted a photo of me. Big perm. Love it. I'm a person by some heaven now. Good morning good morning guys you're welcome back to another vlogmas episode my name is akusia hey go hey if you're new you're welcome if you're a tennis subscriber hey boo hey boo what it do okay what it do <laughs> so in today's um episode or in today's video it's more like a cleaning motivation type of video my apartment is messy oh child it is so messy and you know it makes sense because it's the weekend every weekend i have to clean the apartment anyway but also i had my friends over from new york the past two days um so the house is kind of messy huh? because i had to do a lot of cooking and like you know running around and didn't have time to actually clean so it's sunday today i'm gonna get into cleaning i don't like when my space doesn't look good because when it doesn't look good, it has an effect on my mind, okay? So I'm going to clean my kitchen, the whole nine yards, do the laundry, everything. Um, so, yeah, you're welcome. I also just want to say that if you're a mom, okay, and you have family, you have kids and everything, and you're looking to get a full day of cleaning without so much disturbance from the family, cook first, okay? Like try to make some sort of food, try to feed the family, try to have some food down. Because these kids and the family, mm, baby girl, they be wanting food, okay? They want their food. So once you have food, you can run around and do stuff without feeling like, you know, at least for me, it makes me feel like, okay, food is sorted. If everybody's hungry, there's food. So I'm going to quickly make some breakfast. I'm making some oats. Um, but it's going to be full because I'm making oats with bagels and some eggs and avocado, the whole nine yards. But I just wanted to put it in here to let you know that if you're cleaning and you're a mom, if you don't want to be so stressed, have some food going. Even if they're not hungry, just prep it and put it down and tell them that there's food. <laughs> okay, so when you're hungry, there's food. Mommy is going to be cleaning. Mommy's busy. So anyway, you're welcome. Uh, I want to just quickly finish off the food 
because I don't want to like you know I want this vlog to be more so cleaning and like you know getting my space together getting my life in order kind of situation and also making sure that the space is clean enough for you know the holidays um, yeah so I will finish making the oat and then we'll get into cleaning all right and then I also have my I literally dropped my advent calendar in soup. <laughs> I could cry. I could cry, but I'm not gonna cry. I could cry, but I'm not gonna cry. Because I was just about to show you that we will be unboxing or like, what unboxing? We'll be like opening the advent calendar, you know, because it's Christmas, day by day. I have to show you guys what I have. And I was just about to show you, and the whole thing fell. Oh, can you imagine? So, I filled out the advent calendar yesterday. I can't even be mad enough, like 10, 11, 12. Like, I filled it out yesterday. I have everything in the advent calendar. Um, so, I was just going to show you guys and tell you that we would be opening the advent calendar. And, oh my god, it's so chaotic right now. <laughs> We'll be opening the advent calendar and just basically looking at what we have inside. But then everything just started falling. I definitely have one that's like dipped in soup. Can you imagine? Like this is literally gone. So I have to replace this one. But I'm not going to replace it right now. Let me see. Day one, day two, day three yeah so <laughs> so it's all here so i was gonna show you guys that we have the advent calendar which i filled out yesterday so i have you know situations inside <laughs> it's so exciting when i get to so let me cook when i finish we'll open this and then i'll tell you guys my concept behind the advent calendar but i filled it out yesterday and it's i'm so happy <laughs>
I'm so tired. I'm not gonna lie. It's time for me to make dinner. I'm about to cook some bean stew with some plantain and some avocado on the side. I personally, I'm craving um, noodles. So the beans is for the beans is for my husband, um, and then I'm gonna make some noodles for myself. But right now, what I want to do is make a cocktail. I want to make a cocktail for myself. I didn't even like brush my hair or comb my hair because I want to blow dry it out and braid my hair. But I don't know if I'll braid my hair today. But I'll certainly blow dry it today. Anyway, that's besides the point. I want to make myself a cocktail. I do have a strawberry um, margarita and daiquiri mix situation. And then I have some tequila. So I'm going to put it together. Get myself a drink. Okay. And just sit down for a second because it's 4 p.m. I can just chill for a little bit chill breathe for a second before i come back into the kitchen to cook okay so okay i have my cocktail shaker What I was talking about it's a daiquiri mix that I got from the liquor store so it has a daiquiri and margarita so I'm gonna use that this is going to make my tequila really nice and this is the tequila that I'm using Espolon <laughs> Espolon I've seen the girls talk about it so I decided to try it out and it's actually really smooth let me just say it's very smooth I like it okay I need some ice So I'm going to do two shots of tequila, two shots tequila, let me give you guys a different angle. So I hope that's a much better angle for you guys, let me, so I'm going to do two shots of tequila. Matter of fact, three, just so that it's stronger. Because I want it to be strong and not sweet. <laughs> the only thing that I like sweet is my red wines. When it comes to like tequila, I like to feel the tequila, okay? And then I'm gonna add some of this strawberry, daiquiri, and margarita mix. You want to make sure it's nice and secured. And then. So one for me, one for my husband. <laughs> I gave my husband this cup because it looks masculine. <laughs> yeah. Yes, girl. I'm going to do some ice, an ounce of ice. So it's not going to be a lot. And that's it. I don't have anything to garnish it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I literally have nothing to garnish it, but it will taste amazing, I'm sure. Okay. You can definitely feel the kick of tequila. Yep. I can taste the tequila. But it's really sweet. It's really nice. The strawberry situation it's kind of thick i don't know what i was expecting it's obviously daiquiri so i should have known but um i like it i don't have any issues it has everything lemon and all of that stuff um lime i don't know if it's lime or lemon <laughs> 
but it has everything i'm just gonna go sit down for a second drink this come back we'll cook some food and then i can call it a day for this vlog i also just wanted to say that my intention was to like you know do a clean with me kind of day but i don't think that it will be so long <laughs> so i just decided that i'm going to add my um you know going to see the renaissance movie hanging out with my best friend i'm going to add all of that into this vlog and just so that i can get some content because <laughs> just cleaning it wasn't enough i'm not gonna lie just the cleaning wasn't enough but i hope that you're liking it so far and um yeah i'm just gonna go chill for a second and then i'll chill for a second and then um i'll come back when it's time to cook okay <music> I just want to open this up with you guys and then go ahead and end off the vlog so let's see what we have and I just want to say that today is the 2nd of December we already did the 1st of December I mean the 1st of December already passed so we're gonna open two days and then from tomorrow we'll start opening up day three day four and in that order so so let me tell you before I go into it. So what I did with this advent calendar is it's just an empty advent calendar I, I got it off Amazon What you do is you fill it up with stuff I told you guys that I was gonna fill it up with the little perfumes that I got I did that not all the perfumes could fit Let me just say that some were bigger than I actually thought um, So not all of them could fit um, But I put in you know all the little ones that could fit and then I also put in activities so this advent calendar has Christmas activities that I had to do each day, literally. Christmas activities that I had to do each day. Um, and I think that, um, I figured that that would be exciting because I'm doing the Vlogmas series. So at least we had something to do every day. But now that I already passed day one and day two, I don't know if I could do that. But moving from day three and upwards, we're definitely going to be doing um, what the advent calendar is saying. I did write the activities, but I wrote a bunch of activities. I wrote over like... So this is 24 days. I'm going to be vlogging for 24 days of Christmas. And um, I wrote a bunch of stuff. And then I just mixed it up and put them inside. So I really don't know. I know what to look for it too. But I don't know which day says what. If you get what I'm saying. Okay. So to see what it says. Um, I don't know if I could do them. But we'll see. We'll see. So day one. Day one has just an activity. So it doesn't have a gift. But that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so day one oh day one would have been so fun day one says have a cookie decorating party it could be virtual or in person oh i'm actually gonna keep day one because i will still do this i'm still gonna do this for a fact like this is gonna be fun even if i don't do it with someone i will do it myself cookie decorating party for a fact or me with my husband and the kids like yeah i will do it I will do it day two so this is what it looks like <laughs> i just have little pieces of paper ma where did you go <laughs> okay so day two <laughs> day two says make christmas cookies to give to someone you know so we will also do this we have to put this at the back of our mind so we're going to be doing these because cookie decorating party and making cookies to give someone is kind of like the same so so my bad you guys my bad today is the third <laughs> today is the third of december today is the first i mean today is the third of december 
so this was friday this was saturday today is sunday so today is the third so monday we're gonna be opening fourth fifth and sixth, then in that order so let's do the third oh the third actually has two i also have some motivational quotes or like you know um affirmations that i put in some of them not all of them so <laughs> this one also says spend time with the people you love virtual or in person matter of fact this evening i kind of want to watch a movie with my husband i want to set up the projector and watch a movie it's 9 p.m i've showered he showered the kid is the kid is not showered so that should not take so long but we can just quickly shower the kid and maybe watch a quick movie on netflix nothing serious but i like to like watch it on a projector because it gives that vibe <laughs> so that's day three and the affirmation in day three <laughs> affirmation in day three says i release my expectation of others i release my expectation of others this is so true this is so valid sometimes we put so much pressure on people the people around us expecting them to be all perfect or expecting them to be just like us or expecting them to react the way we would in situations but you don't have to um, have expectations of people just go with the flow or live with how people you know just live with people how they are or accept, or accept people the way that they come and um, sometimes life will be easier for you that way you know if it just doesn't work for you don't be in their space and that's it so that's day three let me see so i might actually do day three so we'll watch a movie today spending time with the people i love my husband and my kid <laughs> okay guys so i just wanted to come in here and quickly end off today's vlog which is vlogmas day three i hope you guys enjoyed let me also just say that the renaissance concert not me saying concerts when i just went to watch the movie i am saying concert because next time i'm just gonna go to the concert let me just say that i am just gonna go to the concert because going to the movie left me feeling nothing short of inspiration like the woman is a queen beyonce she didn't sleep okay she barely had any rest throughout all the 56 shows and she would perform with her hat on her sleeves like i'm not even kidding when she's performing and you look at her face you see that she's a whole different person on stage she's a whole different person like the way she reacts with the song and you know the connection with her own songs and her lyrics and the way she's just so confident in who she is as a woman how she believes in her sensuality is just beyonce is a queen she's an icon if you have the chance to go and see that movie or the film please go and see the renaissance film okay if you're a woman that is what you need to see that is the inspiration you need to enter 2024 because trust me if beyonce can do it you could do it and i'm not even kidding she makes you know when you like see her move in, in like music and stuff or you listen to her music you can't really relate to her as like a regular person i think i was telling my best friend that that you can't really relate to her as a regular person when you like listen to her music but when you watch the film showing you behind the scenes and how she's strategizing and like you know communicating with the crew and how she even employs people the dancers like oh my goodness she is an icon she's a queen and she's a black girl i stun okay she's a black girl that i stun shout outs to her team shout out to herself she's amazing and shout out to her team for just curating this film in a way that you know it's giving inspiration and nothing more like the movie is legit there to inspire you like when you get out of that cinema you're gonna say wow <laughs> that's legit all you're going to say and i'm very happy that i took myself out to go and watch that like i am so happy that i took time out to go and watch that film and it's just the motivation that i need for 2024 like i'm not even kidding like it's just the motivation that i need for the new year and i hope that you can find that motivation <laughs> my daughter doesn't want me to talk let me just say that if you can definitely get yourself a ticket and go and watch the renaissance film okay go and watch the renaissance film and the next time there's a concert for beyonce please if i'm sleeping wake me up okay if like if i don't hear it remind me if i don't talk about it remind me like comment under my like just 
say it so many times and let me know that Beyonce has a concert because I'm not missing any other Beyonce's I feel if she's ever doing another one because when you watch the film it sounded like she she was like done not like done with music but like she she sort of like said that you know she she's she's grateful with how far she's come 27 years in the industry now she wants to spend time with her family and her kids which I respect as a mom but also Miss Beyonce if you're watching this please we still need more of you okay you've actually showed us that we've been sleeping on you like we've been so like sleeping on you we've always known that she's the queen but I guess she just had to remind us she had to give us a reminder and we love that I'm here for it okay anyway thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of vlogmas i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you enjoyed the whole um renaissance situation okay i blew up my hair because i want to put it in braids i told you guys i'm not so sure if i'm gonna do it because braids wear me out but if i do do the braids obviously you'll find out in the next few episodes um thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one <laughs>